This is a N54 engine and we are replacing the spark plugs. But the point of this video is not replacing the spark plugs of this engine. If you want to see that, I have a different video for that. Today, we are going to talk technical data on that spark plug replacement because many of you replace the spark plugs. But do you know if the spark plugs are bad or good? That is something that I'm going to be showing you today, how to test the spark plugs. And for that, you're going to need a multi-tester like this one. It comes with two ends one positive one negative and uh, you can use it for many things the voltage uh, continuity uh, resistance amps many things you can test with this um, if you don't know how to get one of these you can look at amazon you can just see this brand and you can look there the pretty good brand this is a pretty good brand so you can just look there uh, you can find an ebay sears any Pretty much, uh, wherever they sell tools, you're gonna find this. It's not complicated to find it. The best quality you buy are the best results you're gonna get when it comes to measure resistance. But let's go to the video. We are going to be measuring the resistance of the spark plugs with a multi-tester. This is the way how you are going to uh, know if the spark plugs are bad or good. A good spark plug is going to have five thousand to seven thousand uh, ohms in resistance it will vary some of them have less resistance depending on the application and how old the spark plug is some of the older cars with carburetors and stuff like that they have lower resistance spark plugs but most of the newer uh, performance or passenger cars they have uh, have five thousand to seven thousand uh, spark plugs resistance just keep that in mind before you start this process but let's go to the testing process so for that you're gonna need spark plug in this case we have another spark plugs that we just removed from this engine and also we have a new spark plug so we're gonna be comparing the resistance between the spark plugs to see which one has the less resistance and which one has the most resistance so we're gonna be starting to measuring the all spark plugs so what we're gonna do is grab the multi-tester right here and we are going to set it to ohms here the little omega sign that's where you're gonna be setting it up and when i put it right here so you can see it so you can see it says ol right now so to see if it works all you have to do is to touch each end and you will see then you're gonna mark some kind of resistance there and that's how you know thing is working well so what we want to do is grab one spark plug this is the number one so we're gonna grab the number one and we're gonna measure it so we're gonna place it right here where it doesn't move when i put this one right here okay so and we're gonna grab the positive end to this and the negative end we're gonna grab it to the point over here you see this little this is the spark plug ignition uh, electrode this is just a full resistance all the way to here so when you test in the spark plug you have to make sure that there is no resistance here to here so freeze you measure here and here and you see this the multimeter it says nothing ol means nothing or it will mark zero or something because that means then there is no resistance so that's good if you have uh, resistance between here and here that means that this spark plug is completely bad there is no way you can reuse it so what we're gonna do right now is grab the end of the spark plug right here when i get it closer so you can see here in the camera so we're gonna grab this end to the spark plug right here and the other end to this little point over here and we're gonna try to check see that you can see that number over there that is how much resistance this spark plug is having that is a lot 12 ohm that is a lot of resistance because that means then this uh, coil has to work harder to create a spark on this spark plug and this can create lots of power when you are uh, requesting power on your vehicle or bad fuel economy because this spark is pretty weak so i already measured these spark plugs completely and i have the readings right here you can see last time i measured the freeze spark plug it was 11 and now it went to 12 but this was the reading before and then we have the second one this 
is a good reading 6.89 that is a good reading k means thousand if you wonder so uh, then we have the third one you see 1998 1998 is a super high resistance that means then that spark plug is super bad there is no way to reuse it that goes to the trash immediately then we have the number four see 795 millions it is not k this is m is millions that means that this spark plug is completely bad as well the uh the number five right here is uh 8.53 which is not okay but still i kind of like within the range and then we have the last one the six then it is six uh, seven fifty which is non acceptable but still if you don't have the money you can still work with this spare plug but you can see how different the resistance between the spare plugs and we can say that these spare plugs were installed at the same time but each spare plug creates a different resistance depending on how it works so you see these readings over here that means then which spare plugs have to be replaced if you want to reuse any spare plugs this spark plug right here will be the best to reuse this spark plug right here is not good this one it is okay and this one i won't recommend it but you can still use it but this is the only one that is going to be good for reuse the second one which is going to be this one right here it doesn't look any different than all the spark plug but the resistance in here is better than the other ones now we are going to compare it to the new ones we have the new spark plug right here this is the one that we're going to be installing in the cylinder number one so we're going to test the resistance on this one the same way so you can see when i put the positive here and the negative right here and we're going to get the reading sometimes it will take a while because you have to find the way the good contact and you can see the reading right there see? 7 17. it is okay it is acceptable right is a new spark plug so this spark plug is good right we have the readings of the new spark plugs right here and we have the readings of the old ones and you can see how it is the difference between the numbers see these are all new spark plugs and they vary a lot on resistance but they don't pass seven they don't go over seven ohms over 7,000 ohms, I'm sorry. But all the old ones, they pass. Only one stays below 7,000. So that is uh, the reason why the spark plugs got to be replaced every time because the problem happens is then when the spark plug has a high resistance, the coil right here, the coil has to work harder to create a good spark. So if the spark spark is not strong enough you are gonna have a lot of problems like low power or low fuel economy the coil will be able to create a spark because the coil has a lot of power but the problem is the amount of the spark you get here is not good enough to have the power than you had before when the spark plugs were good so this is how you test the spark plug it is just a quick explanation and uh, this will work for all the cars it doesn't have to be a bmw it can work for mercedes toyotas uh, nissans and any other car or engine doesn't matter as long as it's gasoline engine if you have three three thousand ohms doesn't mean that your spark plug is bad just means then this is the way the spark plug works usually if you have three thousand or less probably it's going to be for a different application or an older car but anyway now it is just time to start install these spark plugs back on this car and see the results we're getting because definitely these spark plugs are super bad and they need replacement to have a better performance and i mean it doesn't matter what type of car it is it could be a passenger car or a performance car and the results are going to be the same because the spark plugs have a lot to do when it comes to performance uh, if you have any questions about this uh, you can just like comment below and ask me anything about this uh, video that we just did about the spark plugs measurement this is the way how you want to test like if you have the time i mean like if your spark plugs have been installed for one year it is time to replace them but if you want to be sure which spark plug is bad or good 
it's better to test them that way you know what spark plug is good and what spark plug is bad. It is just for your information. It is not because it's something that you must do before replacing your spark plugs. So, as I say, questions, go to the comment section below, ask me anything, or go to Instagram and look for me, Francis Comaya YouTube, you can ask me anything there too. And uh, like the video because it's very important for us to get the feedback from you. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content or you want to see newer videos because with that, you are encouraging us to keep doing videos like this. Thank you.